Thanks for joining me again to read the Bible in Advent. In today's reading, we're heading to Matthew's Gospel to see how Jesus was born. And here we see Jesus referred to as the Messiah. That's the term used for God's chosen King who comes to deliver God's people. And so here we see uh, Jesus called the Messiah and we'll see how he comes to deliver his people as we keep reading through the Bible. So let's open up Matthew chapter 1 and we'll hear how the birth of Jesus came about. Matthew 1 verse 18 and following it. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. So as Matthew gave his account of how the birth of Jesus came about, we see the, the, the mystery and the wonder of the virgin conceiving. We see Joseph, uh, the one pledged to be married to Mary, uh, think about what he should do. He wants to care for Mary, but also uh, this is a, a dodgy situation. But then, of course, the angel appears to him and explains the whole situation. And we'll go back to uh, that part of the account. And uh, as we go through what the angel says about what's happening uh, with, uh, with the conception of this child, uh, we see the name that is given, that is to be given to this son. Joseph is to give him the name Jesus. And this name is full of meaning and purpose for this son to be born because the name Jesus, its meaning is the Lord saves. And he is to be given this name, the Lord saves Jesus, because he will save people from their sins. That's why this son is to be born. That's why this son has come, to save people from their sins. As much as Jesus came to do uh, miraculous things and came to do good works and came to teach wisely, his ultimate purpose was to save people from their sins. And all these events took place to fulfill what the prophet Isaiah said in Isaiah chapter 7, that a virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and this son they will call him Emmanuel. And very helpfully this time, Matthew gives us the meaning of the name Emmanuel. It means God with us. God is with us. He's present with us. He's no longer distant. He's no longer far from us, but he is with his people. And in the birth of this son, literally, God, uh, Jesus, God the Son, is with us. And so, these two names, Jesus and Emmanuel, these two names hold great promise for anyone who puts their faith in Jesus the Messiah. Because as you put your faith in Jesus, then you experience that the Lord saves. He saves you from your sin. Anything that you've done that is against God, anything that you are ashamed of before God, anything that is not worthy of God, Jesus, through his sacrificial life and death, rescue, save his people from our sins. And so we can be right with God. We can be in a restored relationship with God. And the second name, Emmanuel, means that God is not far from us. God is not distant, but God is with us in the person of Jesus and now by his Holy Spirit. God is with us. He is for us. He is uh, alongside his people. And so as we look to Jesus this Christmas, remember that it is through him that your sins are forgiven and that it is through him that God is with us.